Hey everybody, welcome to this B1 English listening practice video. You can use this video to practice your listening and comprehension as I speak. Before we start, remember to subscribe to the channel, click on the bell, and follow us on Instagram. You ready? So today, I'm going to talk about immigration. This is a really relevant topic for today because as the world becomes more globalized, immigration becomes more common. Nowadays, more and more people are considering immigrating abroad for different reasons. Some people leave the country looking for a better job, some people are looking for a safer environment, and some simply want a change of scenery. All in all, there are a plethora of reasons one might choose to immigrate. I personally have lived abroad for almost four years, and so I too have had a lot of experience with immigration. So let's talk about the pros of immigrating to another country, and then we'll talk about the cons as well. So the first positive that comes to mind is the cultural experience. Forcing yourself out of your comfort zone can always bring benefits, regardless of how difficult it is for you. Before I moved abroad, I still hadn't broken out of my shell, so to say. But once I started my life in a foreign country, my horizons expanded. I made new friends, I tried new activities, and I spoke a new language. Granted, it's not easy to make all these changes, but it's such a great learning experience. You discover all kinds of new things along the way, especially about yourself. You realize what things about your life you really value and what things you're willing to change. Okay, another positive about immigrating to a new country is that it can sometimes provide you with more career opportunities. I've had tons of students who moved abroad because they had the opportunity to grow in their career and earn more money to support their family. In some countries, salaries are low or the currency isn't strong, and so it might make sense economically for people to move somewhere else. One last positive thing about immigrating is that it gives you a chance to learn a new language. When you're forced to speak a foreign language to do all the things that you need to do, you learn a lot faster. It's definitely stressful, but it could be that last piece of the puzzle that you need in order to master a language. For example, my Spanish improved a ton after I moved to Mexico. All right, now let's talk about some cons of moving abroad. The absolute worst thing about immigrating is that you're probably leaving loved ones behind. No matter how exciting it is for you to live in your new country, you can't help but miss your family and friends back home. Sure, you can call them or video chat with them, but it's no substitute for actually being with them in the flesh. It might get easier over time, but you'll never stop missing your loved ones. Another negative about moving abroad is culture shock. I already talked about the positives that can come from exposing yourself to another culture, but sometimes it's not that great. Regardless of how interested you are in a foreign culture, you'll never adopt 100% of their values and norms. Heck, we don't even agree with 100% of our own culture's values. Culture shock is inevitable when you move abroad because you have so many opportunities for misunderstandings, miscommunications, and exposure to foreign ideas. I've experienced my share of culture shock throughout my time abroad. It's something that you simply have to expect when you put yourself in this sort of situation. One last negative about immigrating is that you might lose your sense of where home is. After you spend a significant time abroad, you might start to realize that you don't really know where you consider your home to be. Of course, if you just spend a year abroad, you'll probably come back home afterwards and adapt without issue. But if you live abroad for multiple years, you might find that when you return back to your home country, you experience reverse culture shock. The things that used to be normal for you are now foreign. Weird, huh? Okay, now I'm going to ask you three questions about today's video to check your comprehension. Write your answers in a comment down below. Number one, how long have I lived abroad for? Number two, what do I consider the worst thing about moving abroad? And number three, what might happen to you if you return home after having lived abroad for many years? All right, before we go, remember to subscribe to the channel, click on the bell, and follow us on Instagram for more English tips and lessons. I'll see you next time.